Did you ever drive around the countryside of San Andres and feel uneasy? Did you ever feel like you saw something off in the distance or that you were being watched? I distinctively remember feeling creeped out every time I drove through the countryside, especially at night or when there was a bad storm. Which is weird because I don't remember San Andres being a horror game. Yes, San Andres had a pretty gritty story about gangs and the life that they led, but it was just a PS2 game. The main character was a one-man army gunning down everything from thugs to the US military. It had wacky characters, items and storylines. So why can San Andreas be so creepy? In my recent review of GTA San Andreas, I talked about the incredible lengths Rockstar went to creating the world of San Andreas. This insane effort ended up creating a truly immersive world. A world full of special weather types, a variety of vehicles and NPCs, but with this huge variety came realism. And in my opinion, this realism is the reason for some of the creepy vibes you get from this game. The realism led to a unique category of YouTube videos. I remember sitting in my granny's house, late at night, looking for something to watch. I then stumbled across a video that would lead me down a rabbit hole. These videos were all pretty creepy, and I'll call them GTA Conspiracy Theories. Think of them as the original playing GTA at 3am kind of videos. The first video I ever saw was on Bigfoot hiding in the forest of San Andreas. Then I saw one showing aliens in the desert, and one with the ghost of CJ's mum. Were these real? They were incredibly creepy, but it wouldn't exactly be out of character for Rockstar to add these kinds of things. After all, San Andreas was so incredibly detailed to the point where I was randomly finding things every week within the game. So would aliens and Bigfoot really be out of the question? Well, kinda, yeah, but you have to remember this was 2007, and I was a child. Nowadays we have an incredible amount of information at our fingertips, and there are so many people and YouTube channels dedicated literally to myth-busting alone. At the time, these conspiracy theory videos could have been very much true, and I didn't have the resource to fact-check it myself. The atmosphere that San Andreas had led me to believe these things, and I believed that anything could be possible in this world, and that is why I think it was so scary. Driving through the countryside at night during thunderstorms always had my heart pounding. It was dark and hard to see. As a result of this, planes would crash into trees and you'd hear random explosions about the place. When you took a turn into the forest, it would be empty, and your brain can't help but panic a little bit and think, is there something off in the distance? Textures would partially load in, making you think you saw something strange. Hell, even the locals looked horrifying. Your favorite foods are sketty and butter. In 2002, Rockstar set out to try and make an incredibly immersive world, and I think they did that. The folklore and conspiracy theory videos proved how realistic this game was. Driving through the stormy countryside felt so real. It had you looking over your shoulder and questioning the things you saw out of the corner of your eye. The horrors of San Andres are the result of Rockstar going above and beyond to create this incredible world. And if you wanted to see more about the development of GTA San Andres, click the video on screen. Or maybe you want to see a video on Bigfoot. Thanks for watching.